Why is why my why my face? I'm not <laughs> No <laughs> I'm not sad. I'm not sad, I'm not sad. I'm I mean uh I missed you guys so why is my eye doing that? Okay, let's let's start that again. Zaharo! Oh my god. I was yeah. <laughs> Zaharo! Hello everyone. Happy Friday! Happy 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 Friday! Yay! We made it through another week. <laughs> I was like, what what did I press to make to trigger my sad? I'm not I'm not sad. I mean I was sad not seeing you guys for such a long time. But now I'm happy! Hello, everybody! Hello, hello! Happy Friday! Hello! Uh, let's see who's here in the bar. Yachen, hello, hello, Juan, hello, Web, and hello, Mr. Bain. Thank you all for dropping by on tonight's Friday cocktail stream. My name is Zal, your local dragon bartender, mixer, and mixer through and through. I am really happy to be here because we have a special, quite a few. Quite a few things on the agenda right now, and there's a lot going on at the moment for me. Um, one, I didn't quite, I didn't quite eat too much food recently, and my dinner is currently in in the oven. Uh, today is a uh, steak night, but currently, so if you see me like doing this, it's because I'm looking at my timer <laughs> or like my temperature thermometer, wireless therm thermometer for my steak. Um, I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I didn't plan. I I I should have made dinner a lot earlier, but you know things don't happen. And yeah, I mean I I was just a little busy, and I want to like unbox. Uh, we um, unbox a very special, uh, uh, Miori merch. We have an actual. We have a package from the Scenaria. So I want to do an unboxing for that. I want to make a cocktail. I want to make the Miori Sour. And uh, I thought about karaoke, but then I was thinking about it. And I don't, I'm thinking about how I want, how I want to separate this. So there's a chance that we might have a double feature stream. Okay. We might do cocktail and drinks first, and then we're going to take a brief intermission. Um, stop streaming on YouTube and we'll hop over to Twitch so that I don't get a copyright strike <laughs> singing songs that I want. And by the time I do co do like cocktail stuff and cocktail karaoke and karaoke stuff, I'll probably be pretty drunk, I think. We'll see. <laughs> so, sounds like a plan. It's Zal. Hello, Finian. Hello. How you doing? Thanks for dropping by again. Drunk singing, yeah, and and I might like be able to transfer over to the nicer setup. Maybe we will see, or maybe maybe if Sonaji gets back in time, we could do a jazz jam. Actually, that might be actually a lot of fun. It might be if we do a jazz jam, we'll probably it'll probably be a late night thing, but I'll see how he feels. So, okay, the agenda today again. Um, my steak it says it's gonna be done in 45 minutes, but I'm probably gonna. It's okay. I can probably stay in there for a little bit because I'm also cooking for like Sonaji and friends. Um, so steak. We'll do cocktails. We're gonna warm up with cocktails. Uh, probably be like an hour, hour and a half stream ish. We're gonna take a intermission for me to eat food and then prepare, and then we'll see. It'll either be uh, singing karaoke with more alcohol or uh, jazz jam with more alcohol. <laughs> Um, that is on the agenda tonight. How about that? Does that sound good to you guys? Sounds good? Sounds good. All right. Let's go over to here. I want to let's go over here. All righty. I'm over here. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. That is a uh, kind of crooked. Uh, that. Is that crooked? It looks crooked. Oh man, it wasn't crooked before. Yeah. Okay. Oh okay. yeah. Um, how do? Okay, which way does it turn? Do I turn this way? Do I turn it this way? That way? That way? That way? Does that look okay, guys? You can't. You can't really see the chat. Actually, hold on. I can. I can. Now I'm just ahead. 
<laughs> that looks so weird. That actually looks so bad. Don't do that. That's like a. It looks. Wait. Um. Which way do I? Oh, I should have aligned this a little better last time. Hold on. Uh. Without you know. Turning off my camera. You too. I think that's it. I think that looks okay. Now it's not. Oh, man, I I had this in the right position earlier. Okay, I think I, that looks that looks pretty good, pretty decent. I think. Hello, yeah, it's Meat Sack. Um, shall we start off with a uh a drink? Oh, and the house band. <laughs> we have the house band over here too. Hold on, let me make sure that everything's. I can see everything over here. He broke it. Meat sap broke it. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm actually not. I'm not tethered to meat sack right now. I'm actually using Wi-Fi. See, I don't have any any wires right now, right? I'm actually using, you know, I'm actually using my horns this time to emit to control control meat sack in the other dimension, right? However you want to spin that lore, okay? Uh, I want to drink. <laughs> Let's start off with something. Let's start off with something uh, simple. What do you guys want to start off with? Want to start off with uh, a brown spirit or white spirit? I'll leave it up to you guys. What do you want to start off with? Finally, the 5G is working. It is. It finally is working. Actually, Maka, I'm not sure you were. You dropped by last time. Did you drop by last week? I think this is a this is a brand new kind of camera setup right now that I have going. Um, this is like, you know, I got, look at the lighting and everything, the camera like, angle. Isn't it nice? Look, it's, it's nice, right? Pretty nice. What do you think? What do you think? Oh my God. I, I still see it's kind of like crooked and it's still bothering me, but you know what? We have to live with it. I was going to lurk, but I got sick as a dog. Oh man. I hope you're feeling better, Maku. No problem. No problem. Make sure you hydrate. Yeah, everyone's been getting sick lately. Like I got pretty, I got like a little ill last week. Um, some, a little like light fever, kind of sore throat. Not COVID, not COVID or anything. Thank God again. I don't ever want to catch COVID again, honestly. It's like the last time I caught COVID, which was last year, um, I couldn't taste alcohol at all. <laughs> well, maybe that's a good thing. I'm not sure. No, wait. No, it's not a good thing, because that's a, that's my entire brand. But yeah, tequila tasted awful. Tasted like actual ethanol to me. I couldn't taste anything. Uh, whiskey was terrible. So yeah, it just screws over your entire taste buds. Yeah, everyone was getting over a, co a, a cold, 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 cold. But anyways, uh, I'll leave it up to you guys. What do you guys want to start off with? You want me to start off with a brown spirit or a light spirit? What do you think? What do you guys, what would you guys like? Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. I'm thinking about like going to grab bread when I have to uh, take the steaks out of the oven or something. Um, I think I will grab a piece of bread as well. Light spirit, we have a light recommendation for a light spirit, a lighter spirit. You want, oh, you know what? We can drink some gin. How about that? I'll drink some gin straight up. <clears throat> Let's do this one. I, so this is my, uh, this is a gin that I recently added to my collection, kind of. So. <clears throat> I say that it is definitely a good enough, uh, a good enough gin, per se, to be sipped on. I do also have, I think I also have like Plymouth and other things. But uh, vodka, we don't drink vodka straight up. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and pour ourselves. Right, let's get it right in the shot right there. Pour ourselves a little bit of gin.
That will be our. Like this way. This will be our starter for the night. Can I take pictures? How do I? I wonder how there's an easy way to like take pictures. I wish there was. I bet there. But I bet there is a way to do it. Ew! Get away! Go away! Go away! Uh, get out of here. Uh, I meant my man. Oh, thank you. There we go. Them bots. I know. Crazy, huh? Crazy. Okay, so Ford's gin. I think it is a London dry, right? It says so right there. A London dry gin. So my glasses I kinda clean. Super clear. Gin's gin. But like it's nice to uh it's nice to go back to gin every now and then. Cause all I really drink is are like uh <laughs> all I drink is like whiskey and brown spirits. So Cheers everybody. Cheers. Mmm. Citrusy, peppery, Christmas tree. That tastes like gin. <laughs> that tastes like gin, alright. By the way. The, uh, I'll show you guys right now. We'll put this over over here. The package is here. This is this is the package we have from the Scenaria. Wow! And we'll be opening it up, opening it up uh, in a bit. I bought uh, some special special merchandise that I want to fill with a cocktail. I probably should also wash them when they're good. Doxation, let's go. <laughs> no, don't worry. That's why we have uh See, I blocked everything. See, this is uh, you can't dox, can't dox me here, right? I don't think there's any piece of paper here. I mean, I ripped it all up. That's why. That way, you guys cannot find the location of this bar. Wait, isn't that the point? Wait, shouldn't the point be that I want people to come to this bar? Hmm. <laughs> oh well. Bah. Bah. Yeah. That's good. Sometimes having not a lot of people might prefer gin straight up. Um for me. Some gins are not as pleasant to drink straight up. Other gins they are, I'd say. Um I'd say this is a pretty pleasant gin to sip on. Um I used to do this with uh my one my brother. And he prefers, he likes gin a lot because of the Christmas tree flavor. So we both actually have a lot of very nostalgic attachment to Christmas as well. <laughs> do not dox me, Zach. Do not, do not. Give him a cut. <laughs> a solo today. It is a solo today. Hello, Gesu. Hello, hello. Good evening. How y'all doing? Uh, on the agenda today, we, uh, there's a lot going on at the moment, so hold on, I gotta go and make sure that. Oh, it says like 23, apparently 23 more minutes remaining on my steak. So you know what? We're going to, uh, we're gonna move on to the unboxing, I think. So, that sounds like a good idea. We're going to unbox this, uh, these things that I ordered from the scenario. And uh, yes, it is, it is a vessel that I can make a cocktail in. That is, uh, if you, if it, that is what I'm hinting at. Let's open it up. What you, what's like, you can open it up with a wine cork, a wine cork, the corker or something. Okay, you guys ready? How, what's the like the, what's the normal thing to do when you're like unboxing something? You go like, Ooh. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Thank you for the dudes. All right. Ooh, a box. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna open it. 
this away. Show knife. Wait for chat to scream. Oh no! <laughs> That's true. Oh. Oh! I got. Wait. Oh my god! <laughs> wait, I, see my, I, want, I just want to make sure that everything is okay. That I don't have anything that is super. Oh! <laughs> Look! Ah, oh! <laughs> it's so cute. Look at that. <laughs> that's so, man. That's so nice. This print. Yeah. Look at it. it's Miori and and Mogus and all the Mogus. That's adorable. Love that. And there's another one right here. Isn't it such a cute? It's I, I love I love Miori's mascot so much. Mogu is an adorable adorable being, you know. I wonder I was gonna shoot a message over to the scenario and see if anybody wanted to join, but uh, I'll shoot I'll shoot a thing right now, just to say just to see if anyone's interested, any beer pals are interested in dropping by. Opening stuff now. Let's see. I'll go over to the beer, the beer pal stream chat now. Uh, Scenario. Opening Neo. Wait, is that a flush? You you guessed it right. What? <laughs> it is Mogu. See. Mogu's been this is this is a different this is another Mogu. Mogu can multiply a lot, you know, so. Look at her. Look at So squishable. <laughs> you can like squish it, you can hug it. <laughs> you can hurt it. Oh she she's looking mad cute. I know, right? Mogu too. Hope blackout, my man, the number one, my number one man. Hello, everybody. So cute. I know, right? Mogu will be sitting right over there. But I already cut open the things. We got some freebies. Look. Oh my god. What if I just fucking killed Mogu? I'm not sure if you can. Actually, I don't even know what level Mogu is. Is Mogu... Is Mogu a, like, high-level slime? I don't know. I wish I wasn't poor. This stuff looks awesome. Well, I mean, like... The things that I bought are not too bad. They weren't that expensive. They're like the cost of most shot, like nice shot glasses maybe. But yeah, I love this one. This one's so cute. Oh. <laughs> I love this one. This is so good. All right, so let's go on with the main objects. It's a box inside of a box. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Look, it's my Oshi. <laughs> uh, focusing. Where's the focus point? Look at my Oshi. <laughs> I'm gonna put my. I'm gonna put her right over here, while I watch the stream. So it feels like. So it feels like Mio's watching my stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this over here. Let's do this. Let's do that. Um, like that. Okay. So it says, oh, it says saw, um, no. Scrub with soft sponge brush only. She ain't dead. Miyoshi. Yeah, Miyoshi. 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 All right. More, more box cutting. All right. What could be inside here, guys? You guys want to take a guess what I got? <laughs> Wait, did I already say what I got? I can't remember already. The 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 gin is hitting me very fast at the moment because I don't have anything in my stomach. Mio saliva jar. No, it's not that. <laughs> that's kind of a. Uh, that's 
kind of sus, but you know what? That sounds about par for the course for a fellow beer pal. By the way, Blackout, I missed ya. How you doing, buddy? I know, I, I feel like you've been definitely busy, right? I haven't, I haven't seen you in a while, and you're the first to respond on the, uh, on the, uh, Discord thing. Bochi the Rock, oh. You got a jigger, oh! Yeah, alright, I should make something too. Maybe something less cursed than yesterday. Oh yeah, uh, Kazadi, you should drop, you should stick around, because, like, um, I'm gonna be making a cocktail, uh, very soon for our Miori's cocktail, so, ah, thanks, boy! I've been really busy. I got a lot of work stuff, and I'm applying for a job at Tick. Oh! Alright, well, I wish you the best of luck, Mr. Big Tech Man. Alright. I'm gonna put this over... I'm gonna put this one over here, because I... I we're gonna start with this one. Okay! Dun 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 dun. The brand, grand reveal. What did I get? What did Zal get from the Scenaria? Ooh, bubble, bubble wrap. By the way, everything here, every, I believe every merch and everything boxed is hand boxed by Miyori. So that means that Miyori touched these. Does that mean that I can sell this bubble wrap to beer pals? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> It'd be so funny if she, if she, if she heard me say that, she'd like probably hit me or something. <laughs> Never wash your hands again. <laughs> no, I have to. All right, we're uh, we're unwrapping stuff. Oh, there's more tape. That's a nice lick. Thank you very much, boy, for the lick. All right, and the reveal. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, these turned out so well! Oh. There it is! It's mo <laughs> They're Mogu shot glasses! <laughs> and you know, you, and you don't wanna know what else, what, what the rest of these things are? It's four of them. I bought four, sh I bought four Mogu shot glasses, so. Woif licks out real not clickbait. Woif always hits the lick on me. You know, you got the two pack. That's per that's perfect. I mean, as a bartender, you know, I gotta have. I think party size comes in packs of four. You know, so you gotta have the homies. Oh my god, these are so cute. I don't know if you guys notice, but like, or notice about me, or maybe you do. But I'm a huge sucker for like cute shit. I don't know if you guys notice that. <laughs> I don't show it very outwardly, I think. You better really do this. I don't know. These are adorable. Oh my god. Four Mogu shot glasses. The old beer pal party at Zal's bar? Absolutely, dude. Dude, if you ever come out if you ever come out to the northeast, okay, let me know. Hit me up whenever you're like going to New York area or stuff, you know. Oh, Dude, I love these so much. I should, I definitely should like wash them like before I do shots with them. So that will be the plan. But we're gonna make Miori's cocktail and we're gonna fill the, we're gonna fill them. Oh, we're gonna fill the glasses and they're gonna be perfect color. Oh, so like, uh, uh, Kazari, I think uh, I wanted to show you like a great way to really emphasize green in a, in a cocktail. Cause you had the right idea. You were using Midori, but um, there's one more ingredient that you might have been missing to get that like, like really like neon green, and that is an egg. <laughs> Believe it or not. So I'm so down. You'll have to make me a drink that is absolutely memorable because all I drink is tequila and soju. Well, I got you, buddy. Okay, blackout. I got a great cocktail for you to try because. We're gonna be making the Miori Sour. <laughs> it's an original cocktail that I made. Um, it's it, it's a spin off of. It's actually a spin off the Midori Sour, but um, specifically the Midori Sour with egg white, right? But um, I did a spin off with it by adding a little, 
adding a little bit more proof to it by adding some soju. And also, um, what else I did? I think I added, uh, oh yeah, I, I added banana liquor because I think at the time the funny joke for, uh, the funny joke for Miori was just, she is just monkey, you know. And if I ever run into Zell, I will lick him to make sure he's not clickbait. <laughs> well, if you cannot, you cannot run in, run into Meat Sack and lick me. <laughs> you cannot run into Meat Sack and lick. No, no lick. I'm talking about the jazz lick, not that kind of licking. Oh my god. I want, I'm like, I'm like really giddy right now. Because these are, I think it's also the gym, so. I haven't eaten anything today, so it's going straight to my liver right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> elderflower liquor. That is true. Um, that is good. I love elderflower liquor. Oh, these are so cute. I'm going to put these aside over here for now. It says my steak is done in 12 minutes, so let's see. Uh, let's see the order of operations to do things. I will bring out the ingredients. I should wash these, honestly. Or I don't have to wash. Wait, wait. If I wash them, if I wash them, that means I wash off Miori touching these, right? So I can't wash. I should not watch wash these. <laughs> no, I should wash them. I really should. I, it'll be really funny. I should just like message Miori. It's just like, Miori, should I? Should I wash these before I use them? And I'm like, maybe, maybe, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't wash them. All right, a poll. Do I wash them or do I not wash them? Hiya. Yo, if you want, yeah, exactly, the Miori product. Just get her to touch them again. Oh, true, you're right, you're right. You know, if someday, if someday we can drink again, I'm absolutely, I, I have to get Miori to try like the Miori Sour, you know, someday. So, I know her adventures are going to be coming to a pause soon, but like that doesn't mean the entire journey's over. So, you know, I'm hopeful. All right, order of operations. We are, we gotta get, on, get back on track. Oh, there's my, there's my uh, soju. All right, got our soju. We have my, we have the dory, right? That's all the way in the back. I haven't touched you in a while. Touched you before. Oh god. Alrighty. That's fact. Is that as fact? All right. You know what? I am. You know what? Alcohol will kill it all, right? The alcohol will kill it. Or I die of, like, plastic ingestion. I don't know. wonder how good a Tokyo tea would be with soju as another Miori cocktail. I did make a- I did make a cocktail for, uh, the beer pals, actually. Um, it was actually a gin- it was a gin and- IPA cocktail, believe it or not. Um, not it's not very often you hear about uh, beer cocktails, but because uh, you know the beer pals are the beer pals, I had to make a cocktail for the beer pals. I think I I can't remember what I called it. I can't remember exactly what I put inside it, but um, I definitely wrote it down. Did you ever post an amuse? Like how it, yeah, yeah, I definitely did. I bet if you go into, if you go into the scenario and you go to the bar channel, uh, you go pin it. Yeah, yeah, if you go to the bar channel and you look up, like, if you filter my name and, uh, I don't know, pictures, I definitely posted both the Miori Sour and I've definitely posted the Beer Pal cocktail, so. All right, I want to make a cocktail. So to make sure that I get everything right, I'm gonna pull up my recipe. Um, I want to make. Sh it's just been a while since I've uh, since I've made this. 
That's right. I made like a couple things. That works. I remember making that. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's not a funky monkey. Where's the Miori Sour? <clears throat> um, um, wait, where is it? Definitely not the Funky Monkey. Oh, there it is. All righty. Two, one, half, one. Two, one, half, one, egg white. Alrighty. These are our serving glasses. I will be pouring all shots into these later, but you'll see them very soon. Hello, Lena. Thanks for dropping by. Hello. Thank you and welcome to Bar Sanctuary. We're currently uh, making a cocktail. We're making Miori Celesta's uh, cocktail, so. The Beer Pal cocktail from, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Beer Pal cocktail from like a long time ago. Like we're talking about when, when like, when like Miori was just joined Sendaria long ago. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know that. Yeah, I've been following Miori for a while now, actually. Wow. That's why she's my Oshi. She's my Oshi. Alrighty. <coughs> We're gonna start off with. We're gonna start off with. Oh, that's not very good. Two ounces of Midori. Midori is acting as the main spirit, essentially. That shit is nuclear green. It's labeled Beer Buddy Cocktail. Oh, okay, gotcha. Alrighty. Um, and then we do one ounce of soju. Okay. I'm going to take off this little tag right here. One ounce of soju, kind of like to boost the proof, I guess. Actually, it's just because, uh, to fit, to fit the, uh, fit the aesthetic, I guess. It does nothing more than add a little bit more proof and a little sugar, actually. Midori, what's what's the proof of Midori right now? Um, is there any? Is there a proof marking? Oh, 20% and we have a 20%, 24%. So it's like kind of like we almost have a shot of um vodka in there sort of. All right. And now the funny the funny liquor. Going to add ounce and a half of creme de banana. By Tempest Fusion. This is my preferred. It tastes like banana bread as if it was like it's like liquefied banana bread, honestly. That's how that's like probably the best way to describe it. The reason why I'm adding this is one, it's I thought it'd be funny. Two, it actually adds it helps create the slime color, you know? That like yellowish kind of because Mogu is a Mogu is a not like nuclear green color. Right, Mogu is a uh, Mogu is like a yellowish green, right? Kind of like a yellowish green. So we have to match that, right? Mogu goes right there. All right, and now the other ingredients. We're gonna add one. Oh yeah, I should do this. I do have the Mogu Cut Plushie. Hello, Ruby. Thanks for dropping by. Hello, welcome to Bar Sanctuary. Yeah, um, all the all the Mogu shot glasses are here, and I'm about to fill them with. <laughs> I love these so much. I'm about to fill. It. I'm gonna make the cocktail, Miori's cocktail, and then uh, get going. So we're gonna do just the egg. Five minutes. Oh man, five minutes, and then my steak's on. Uh, um, so we gotta get going. Doing just the egg white, not the egg yolk. Just like that. Put that over here. Of course, I... Ugh. Five minutes before cooking ends. Holy crap. Let's go. All right. Egg yolk is in. We're going to give it a dry shake. Mm. 
So we drew in, yep. Everything, anything with egg white is nice. I know, I love the, like, I love the, like, the way it gives us such a nice texture, airy and fluffy and frothy. It's so delicious. And, like, and when I saw how to, like, when I saw this ingredient to make a, mi a Midori sour, I was like, is that really it? You just like, oh, I forgot. Oh my God, that was gonna be a, a tragedy. I almost forgot the lime juice. Okay, my thing is still is beeping at me mad right now. It's like, you gotta get your steak soon. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> It's a little t my juicer's a little top heavy. Do not worry. Yeah, we gotta we gotta do the uh, lime juice. These are some fat limes. Holy shit! All right, that was about to be a tragedy. It's okay. We can, can we can adjust. We're doing one ounce of lime juice. This is important. This is a very important ingredient. You can't have a cocktail without um, without an acid. That is a very very important part of cocktails. Is balancing acidity, balancing acidity and sweetness. I only have flavored soju at home. I don't know how much of that messed up with the flavor. I think it actually might make it more interesting. If you added grape soju to it, you will have grape and melon. Uh, you know, a grape and melon. Or if you did uh, strawberry, strawberry and melon. That might be pretty good. Don't worry. Like, the reason why I'm using this, uh, this I'm using this is one is it's like higher proof soju, in a way. So. Okay, so now that's all frothy, we're gonna add just two large ice cubes. And then we're gonna give it a shake. Now what I would, should do is figure out because I'm pretty certain I'm not gonna be able to fit all, all the drinks in in a uh, in this, so I need a landing zone. Oh, it'd be so cool if I had like a a big slime cup. That'd be so cool. I had a. I'll just serve it. I'll just serve it up. Okay. Alrighty. You guys ready? Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it on my mat so I don't spill. I'm gonna put these away. For, oh, they're gonna be for the shot later, but. Okay. Ugh. Oh, I just forgot. I don't have my, uh... I need my strainers. Hold on. I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> I need my strainer. Else it's not gonna work out well. I'll be right back! Okay, I'm back. I'm leaving you guys in suspense. Oh my god, that was a funny. <laughs> that was a funny free freeze frame. Freeze frame. Oh my god. Remove from heat. I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna. Okay, we, I got some. I have to serve the cocktail first. Alrighty. Ready? Wait. Clean, clean set, clean set, clean set, clean set. Alright. One. Oh my god, it's so frothy. Oh 
Oh my god, it's so cr <laughs> Oh my god, the color t worked out so perfectly! <laughs> Bug Kitten, thank you so much for the follow! The Council of Beer Mogu... The Council of Beer Mogu Shots. Oh my god, that is... That turned out so nice! Oh my god! Sorry, I'm like patting myself in the, on, the, on the back right now. Now I have to set up the shot. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> Hold on. I have to take a photo. Oh my god, it looks so good. All right. Say cheese, everybody. <laughs> When it separates, it, it looks a little bit less, but like, uh, that's there. <laughs> like when you're, when I was just pouring them out, they look so good. Oh my God. All right. Um, where am I? Where'd you guys go? It looks so good. All right, hold on. I got okay. Let me let me go ahead and just post the the thing. Oh my god, they look so good. <laughs> um, mogu shot glasses. Wait, Miori sour, Miori sour, and mogu shot glasses. Yay. Beer. I love these, these shot glasses. Look so nice. I bet. Uh, for ready to par. Ready for Miori. Miori party. <laughs> these. Wait, watch it. An original, original cocktail I made for. Mary Celeste, yay! It's hashtags alcoholics. Wait, what is a uh, what's Miori's uh, hashtag? Very efficient. Yeah, on uh, Miori's hashtag art hashtag. I'll do it on art, and I'll post it in the beer pals as well. Miori. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Miori list. Sure, I'll do a Miori. Miori Uh, it's not really an illustration though. Does she have a fan tag? Beer pals. What should I do for that? Miori! Oh! Miori merch? Okay, I'll do Miori merch. Okay. Miori! I didn't even see chat. Hello! <laughs> Look! Hold on, hold on, okay, Miori, Miori merch. If I spell it, hashtag Miori merch. <laughs> uh, Miori merch, okay, Miori merch. Miori merch, there you go. I love these shot glasses so much, look. I love like oh my god it's such a like a it's such a like a white foamy head actually these are so perfect <laughs> and the color got the color is like really really good too I don't want to like drink it because it looks so nice <laughs> thank you so much Mio for this depends on how drunk and reckless Sal gets after the shooting these okay so here's the thing they're not they're not, um, they're not, uh, this is not a very high proof cocktail, actually, so. Mm. Don't worry, I turned off, I turned off the heat. I'm, I'm gonna go and run and just take them out very quick. So give me a second while you guys look at the Council of Mogu Beer, Beer Cups.
Okay, they're they're all they're discussing the demise of the world right now. Okay, that's what they, they're discussing. I'll be back. Hold on. I gotta take my steak out. Snakes are looking good. They are ready for searing when they are when it's ready for searing. Oh my gosh, Miar! <laughs> Thank you for dropping by. The Mogu Council has arrived. Yes, look, it is the Council of Four, right? Let's go. Here. <laughs> it's so funny because like what you guys saw it when I was pouring it out. It was like a perfect. It's in the video, right? Uh, in the VOD. It, when I was pouring it out, right, it was the perfect Mogu color, right? Oh, you know what I should have done? Wait, I should have done this. I should have took a photo like this. The Council of Mogus and this, and I can take this away. And I put the... Me, I put Mega Mogu right here. Set up a shot. Oh my god, this is this is too, this is too cute. Ah, fuck my! <laughs> I gotta take a photo. Oh my god, that looks so good. Oh my god, it looks so good. I'm gonna post this one. This one's only for. I'm not posting this one on Twitter. This one's only for the beer pals. So I'm gonna post this in uh I'm gonna go ahead and post this in beer bar. Miori Sour in Mogu shot glasses. Oh that's so cute! <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I was looking at it earlier, it's like Oh no! <laughs> when you squish Moku this way, it's like the face actually squishes. No. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Fuck. That's so cute. It's too cute. It's so delicious. Miori, I have to make this. This is the cocktail that I have to make for you at some time. Some t sometime eventually. Alright, now do I drink? Right, how much how do I just like slam all the mogus now? Also, sorry. <laughs> I mean, let me greet everybody. Hello, everybody. Thank you all for dropping by Bar Sanctuary. I appreciate you all coming by. Um, I we just finished the unboxing for the mogu shot glasses. We made the craft cock made the cocktails. We made the Miori sour. Uh, is the cocktail that I an original cocktail I made for Miori. Miori, thank you so much for dropping by. <laughs> uh. The night's not ending. We're not we're not done yet, but like, you know, uh, if you guys want to stick along, feel free to chill and hang out. We're going to be making more drinks uh, tonight. Uh, I have to make dinner eventually later. So this stream is planned to be running for another like uh, 45 minutes. Then I have to go make dinner. I have to make dinner after and then we might be doing a karaoke later. So we have to drink food. So no, 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 we're not done yet. <laughs> oh, you're just you're just essing me. You're just sarcasm me. Hello, Iso. Hello. Thanks for dropping by. I think I saw Kinetic in here, right? <laughs> oh, thank you all. Mine didn't turn out green enough because the beer neutralized. Um, also, I mean, the, the, uh, the egg white helps a lot, so. All right, do I just like, which one, which one, which unlucky Mogu beer cup will meet its demise first? by the dragon right now haha <laughs> funny you did it again i'll be back what you have to drink food number two which one's number two okay so this is one two three four 
Okay, this is one, this is two, this is three and four. Which one? Which one goes? All four of them? All four. Mogu one deserves to be drank first. Yeah, he's looking a little... <laughs> All four. No, no, we got number four, number three. Three, four... <laughs> one, two. I, I think everyone, what basically everyone's saying is just to consume them all at once. So, or not all at once, in succession. Look at, okay, yeah. The, the head turned, the head of the foam turned out so perfect for these. <laughs> Let me steal your dark grid. You gotta eat dinner. All right, so one, four, three, two. I guess two is gonna be the last one to finish. Alrighty. Miori, this is a cheers to you. Thank you so much for being the best Oshi. I know I haven't dropped by your stream very often, but like, eh, it's, a, it's a little hard to hit the 2 a.m. streams, but thank you all for dropping by to say hello. Ah, but okay, okay, guys. One goes. Well, that's one. Then the fourth. Goodbye, Mogu4. The dragon is consuming you. <laughs> Come pie. Wait, yeah. Come pie. Come pie. <laughs> Goodbye, Mogu three. The handle is perfect. Come pie. And Mogu two. All right. Come pie. Come pie. My god, all the all the foam is left now. Delicious. It's like full full flavor Midori, a little creamy. Kinda has that the banana helps round it and create like a caramelly flavor, in my opinion, right? Um the limes the lime juice needs to be there to help balance it all out, or else it'd just be way too sweet. Um I obviously chose limes because it's green, right? And it works and it's all uh Oh, perfect. Look at this. Delicious. Alrighty. Now, I'm ready for another cocktail, I guess. Shall we shake another thing? What else did I have planned today? I could do old fashions. Do something red, maybe. Do a Negroni, maybe? How about something? How about I make something to sip on? Or I'll ask you guys. Ask you guys what to do, what I, what you guys like. Oh my god, this is, okay. You, Midori, staying out here. And the Jinro over here. Alright. So this goes over here. Let's clean up a tiny bit. Make sure we're not super messy. Alright. Old fashioned, my beloved. Bless thou, bless you, man. Love it. I love see I love I love uh I love seeing all the old beer pals honestly. And Jesse, my brother. Welcome back to the bar, Jesse. Yes, it was the Miori sour. <laughs> old fashioned is a classic. He already made something sour, so let's try something robust. Something robust. Robust is such an interesting word, isn't it? What is robust? Is robust subjective? Is something is something complex, right? We want to make something complex. What is up? It's doing good, man. R Jesse, you missed. You should have been here like last, like last week. We made like, in my opinion, a super dark and stormy. Like it was a grenadine or Joe, and like grenadine or Joe dark and stormy, and it was just like really delicious. So I want to see how you like my favorite, the Naughty Dog. Something firm. It has solid, reliable taste and a good body a good body okay so i interpret body as like long a long lasting flavor you know something that is like long and um allows you to savor it in a way yo behind the smile oh my god all the all these alcoholics are are dropping by right now <laughs> i appreciate it thanks for dropping by guys yep i'm still here every friday we're st I'm, I'm still here brothers <laughs> yes something like that Something complex, something deep. We can do something like that. We can like, you know what I, I haven't done in a while? I haven't done a conference in a while. So 
How about we go with that? I think I have all the ingredients to make it, but I will confirm with the great book. Death and Company book. We will make a conference. The, I love the name of that. that. The name of that cocktail is like, it's so cool. It's like all the boys getting together to drink a cocktail or something. I don't know. That's like, I, I have this imagery in my head of like a bunch of gentlemen. Four gentlemen are in a room with a po in front of a private poker table, smoking cigars and having like drinking whiskey. That's like how I envision this conference, you know? All right. Uh, let's grab all the ingredients. Uh, my written house. Where did I put my written house? Um, do I have a... Did I leave my written house downstairs? Uh-oh. Okay, well, first of all, it's going to be Buffalo Trace. Oh, did I... Do I have to open a new bottle? Ooh, I might have to open a new bottle of Buffalo Trace. Do I have a... I thought I ha okay. Is this is this Buffalo Trace though? Is this really Buffalo Trace? Um. Mm, that doesn't really look like Buffalo Trace. I will open a brand new bottle of Buffalo Trace. All right. So we have Buffalo Trace. Um, cognac. Uh, I have Hine. I definitely have a bottle of Hine somewhere in here. Yep, in the back. Okay. Hine. Calvados. I have a man like. Do you got so this is my this bottle of Calvados right here? I've had this bottle of Calvados since I started the bar. <laughs> this Buznell. I've had this Calvados for that long. Yo, I was gonna come over and just to drink it to a Rattling Bog, but hey, <laughs> if the, the bar is open for later tonight, maybe. So, yeah. I like if you guys if you guys go back to like my first streams, I haven't finished this bottle yet because like I don't know like I, I rarely use Calvados. And wait, did I get? I can't remember actually. I really can't. Um, and I need my written house. Where did I put? Did I like leave my written house down down in the studio? I might have been drinking written house while I was like mixing or something like that. So, um, I definitely have like a full handle of it somewhere. Uh, Koki, you know, I would put all my whiskeys over here. Um, you guys gonna have to wait a second while I go down to the studio and go pick that up. You guys can take a look at this beautiful liquor. I'll be right back, okay? I'll be right back! Uh, I don't have Kagura to talk to me right now, so I'm gonna talk to you guys. I apologize, I'll be here really quick! House. It's not in the studio. Where did it go? Oh my god. I definitely have a bottle of written house somewhere. This is this is like classic Zal moment. I and I like somewhat organized my bar. I somewhat organized it. I definitely have a bottle of Rittenhouse. That's a my Elijah Craig. That is not. 
Uh, those are all my scotches. I mean, like, if, if, if it comes down to it, I'll just use my other rye. It just needs to be a rye whiskey. What's on? Oh, there it is. I'm an idiot. <laughs> there we go. All right. I am an idiot. Okay, Zal Deads, I know. All these bottles be chronicles of Zal's journey. Honestly, like, the oldest... So, if I mean, like, the oldest bottle of liquor that I have on this... Yeah, actually, I think it, it really is this Buzznail. This is the oldest bottle of liquor that I have, technically, because I don't remember buying another bottle of this. And it's used very specially. Only for, like, a couple cocktails. Um... Oh, oh! This is, uh, oh, these two actually I've had for the longest time. These are really, really old. These are also, these are, these, um, these liquors right here, both Havana clubs right here. Um, you can't get near where I am. So these actually have been at the bar for even longer than that. So Isa, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. Hope you all, hope you have a great night. Make sure you hydrate. I hope you can see you again. Did I pull for Wincat? I pu I pulled for Wincat and I got the Wincat. <laughs> Gotta savor them. Yeah, this is actually, I like this one way better than this one, I'd say. This one has a little bit more delicious flavor. Cause, but then again, I am also a little more biased towards dark rum, so. Well, like I can get, I can get more of it eventually somehow. All right. Um, let's continue. All right, do I have my Angostura? All right, this is a stirred cocktail. So we're going to stir this. Let's make some room. Give you guys a show, right? Seeing the plenty of times where I am. That makes sense. I guess that makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah, Havana Club's like pretty good, I think. Pretty, pretty straightforward uh, um, Cuban rum, right? Um, so I need chocolate bitters. All my chocolate bitters are like separating and stuff. All right, first things first. Um, oh, a teaspoon of Demerara. We're not gonna use Demerara, but. All right, we're gonna use, this is chocolate bitters. So we're gonna use, we're gonna do, uh, one dash of chocolate bitters. Yikes. Man, my, my, my chocolate bitters are separating. Don't worry, you guys won't see it. I will see it, but I'm gonna strain it out. I'm gonna double strain that for sure. Angostura bitters, we're gonna do two dashes of mango. Right over here. Angostura bitters in a in my fancy dash bitter dasher uh because i'm using a japanese bitter dasher it means it's double or triple the uh, dashes so okay so and now uh demerar a bar spoon of demerar sugar we're just gonna use cane sugar syrup i think it won't do any harm or I can use some of my own a little half and half of simple syrup and a little bit of cinnamon syrup. So I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna do half a bar spoon of half a bar spoon of cane sugar simple syrup that I made homemade. And this is my own homemade uh this is my own homemade uh cinnamon syrup. So we're gonna do just a half a bar spoon because this stuff is powerful. Like cinnamon syrup is potent. We don't need a lot. That's all. I think the cinnamon is gonna work really well with this uh, the spirit. So and and kinetic said he wanted something. How long does it keep? So, um, I don't advise this. But you could. You see how I have the cinnamon syrup still in here? I don't know. If, can you can you see that? Uh, is it focusing? I don't know if you can see the cinnamon still in there. So 
Um, because the cinnamon is still in with my syrup, it becomes antiseptic. I'm pretty certain that's how it works. It because like cinnamon is already naturally antibiotic. So if you keep the cinnamon in there and it's already in, like, I'm pretty certain it's gonna, it's not gonna ever go bad. I think, I mean, you should like not keep it for very long, honestly, but I have to be resourceful. I don't like drink every single day, right? So, um, if it's two to one, it's indefinite. Well, like two to ones, regular two to ones can be good. So this is my simple syrup right here. You see, like there's not like many, there isn't like any floaty bits in there. If you see floaty stuff in your syrup, I've had the syrup for now for like three weeks, <laughs> but the reason why there's no syrup in it is because I put like two shots of vodka in there. So like nothing can possibly like live in it essentially. I haven't, yeah, I, I haven't gotten sick from it yet. So, I mean, knock on wood, <laughs> but like, I mean, you shouldn't always do that. You shouldn't add like spirit to it, but adding a shot of vodka to the, like two shots of vodka to my um, simple syrup has definitely like, uh, it, it boosts the, it change, it does change the flavor profile a little bit, but in my setting, it's not enough for me to care, I'd say, so. Yeah, same, I, I've had simple for like months and it's just like, cause I'm lazy. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't make that much cocktail, that much cocktail stuff every single day. I only do it for a Friday, you know? Anyways, let's move on to the spirits. Should we do left and right? All right, we're gonna start with the Hine. We're gonna do half an ounce of every spirit. So first up, next up. This is a, um, this is a cognac. I highly recommend it. This is a, this is a delicious bottle of cognac. People say Remy, right? Remy's good, but like you want an everyday, an everyday um, cognac. Hine is delicious. Hit him with the Hine, exactly. Oh, it smells so good. And of course, tried and true, my favorite, one of my favorite um, uh, bourbons of all time. Like this is, Buffalo Trace is, I've probably told Zalcoholics this many times. Um, Buffalo Trace is my benchmark bourbon. It's like just so solid. And I think personally a good representation of what bourbon is. It's not the best, it's not the worst. It's a perfect in the middle. Honestly, more, more leaning on good. Oh, first pop, ready? First pop. All right, I should, I should, okay. first pop. Wait, no. All right. Okay, there's no good way to do it. First pop. <laughs> okay, ASMR. All right, half an ounce of Buffalo Trace. And then half an ounce of our Buznel, the Calvados that I've had for such a long time. Still smells good, smells delicious. By the way, Calvados is apple brandy. Um, Calvados, if you guys, um, Calvados, it's just called Cal Calvados because it's made in the region of France called Calvados. Um, it's essentially just apple brandy. And Rittenhouse, good old. If you guys don't have a ball, if, you, if you're like, a, if you ever need a rye whiskey that's just straightforward, Rittenhouse is probably one of the best, just like, Straightforward over eyes. All right, half an ounce of this. I actually haven't made this in such a long time, so this is gonna be pretty delicious. I do need to get, get one more thing. So I need to go get the large ice cube and let it like just chill. So one second, I'll be right back. Gotta make sure we do it with a nice glass. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. We got uh, 
got a nice ice cube. Well, relatively nice. It's nice enough. That'll be me serving for serving to you guys later. I'll put this over to the side right here for a second. Oh, my plugs. Ugh. Alrighty. Let's get to stirring. So we have in there two dashes of chocolate bitters, one dash of Angostura bitters, half a bar spoon of, of, uh, of cane sugar syrup, half a bar spoon of cinnamon syrup, one half of Hine, half of uh, Buffalo Trace, half of Rittenhouse, half of a Calvados. We're using Busnell, and we're gonna go ahead and stir this. Stir this over some ice. In this case, a lot of ice. It is, it is satisfying. Someday, like, someday I've thought about it. Maybe I'll do like a 3D stereo, a 3D stereo um, stream. Cause like, I'm currently only recording in mono. So maybe someday I'll set up a 3D audio, like a stereo stream, stereo audio. Yeah, cane sugar syrup is good. I have enough to spark, but I'm debating the best time to do so. I personally think this banner is like, okay. That's if you want like the wind units, you know? Um, I probably would benefit from this banner just rolling because I need to get PNS dupes. And I also need to get more um, Shalim axes. So, sorry, we're talking. Wife and I are talking Grand Blue. So, all right. So let that melt just a tiny bit, and uh, just chill. I'm looking forward to this. I haven't had, I haven't made myself a conference in a long time, so this is a cocktail for Kinetic, or per the request of Kinetic, you know. So, yep, Grand Blue Fantasy. I am back into that hole. So, Zal, you need to get this Grand Blue addiction under control. Listen, listen, listen. It's all right. It's all right. I've been playing Grand Blue for, uh, since like. Before I started the bar. <laughs> okay, I know a few friends who have been in there, so. I used to play Epic 7 seven years ago. Oh, I'm so sorry for you, sir. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know if that's I don't know if that's worse or not. Oh, does this is this supposed to be garnished? Oh, it's a lemon twist and an orange twist. Uh oh, I gotta go get an orange twist. I'll be right back. I gotta go get an orange. Orange peel! We're gonna do it right, cause this time I actually have oranges. I was good, and I actually got oranges, so now I can actually make this cocktail in its fullest representation. Instead of half-assing it. Honestly, like, I, like, I don't know if I'm plugs. The garnish is honestly just as important as the other ingredients, too. And I seem to be neglecting that pretty often. And whenever I make cocktails, I'm like, oh, it's okay. I don't need to. All right. Here's the pour for you guys. All righty. Oh, that's right. I was going to double strain it. Alrighty. And now... Let's get our garnishes. 
So we need one lemon peel. And one orange peel. You know what I can do? You know what? Take that back. We're gonna make it look pretty. Nice. Okay. Ooh, this would look nice actually. Do this. <laughs> as nice as it'll, it'll get. All right. A cocktail for a cocktail for kinetic. This is the conference. This should be floating. Oh no! I forgot I had that. I forgot I had that trigger. I can't believe Oh my god, I need to get that. I need to get rid of that. Oh my god. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, where? <laughs> do not do that again. Hiya. Let's take a nice picture. Oh no, the camera. Alright, this is the conference. Kinetic, thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the donation. Um, $30 for a, for a cocktail is very, very overpriced. <laughs> um, but I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. That will go towards more alcohol funds. <laughs> All right, let's, I can put these away and we can just chill and enjoy what we have right now. This will probably be the last cocktail of this, ha this half of the segment because god damn am I hungry. I am getting hungry, but um, we'll see what happens in the second half. Maybe I will, I want to do a singing stream. I would like to do a singing stream, but we'll see. Oh, where's my chat? I haven't looked at chat in a little bit because I just been ranting. I got to talk to you guys. Anyways, he spent a <laughs> he spent plenty of time in LA. I think he spends around double that. Okay, like first of all, if you if there's any place that actually sells a thirty dollar US dollar USD cocktail, it better be made with like some vintage shit. Okay, like I don't think any cocktail should really be like thirty dollars. That's a lot of money. Like I'll pay. I've paid twenty dollars for a cocktail. You know. Like it, it literally has to be made with, like Pappy Van Winkle. But like you would never make a cocktail with Pappy Van Winkle. So I could have made the garnish a little prettier, but you notice how I always make always drink with pinky out? Have you guys ever noticed? I do I grab I grab all my glasses pinky out, right? Any SpongeBobbers here? Yeah, drink those straight, exactly. Thank you out. Always drink. Thank you out. Cheers. Thank you, Kinetic, for the donation. I really appreciate it. I really always appreciate, you know, always appreciate Zalcoholics dropping by to just say hi and chill out for a little bit. I always encourage people to also, like, if they want to, you can drink with me. Um, it's been a while since I've done, like, a drink with me kind of night. 
honestly. So that's kind of like my fault in scheduling. Salud. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's yum. Hmm. Man. Miori sours are hitting. Nah, 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 nah. The Miori sours. They're, they're that was that was weak stuff. I mean, they're all chilling right here, but <laughs> delicious. It is great. Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh, I haven't had that in so long. I think, I think I need to get new uh, chocolate bitters. I think that is that might be a little funky at the moment. So. Oh, you know what it, it, it is. I need to use a double syrup actually. So actually needs a little more syrup. So I'm adding a little more syrup. Thanks for making. Thanks for uh, donating. I mean, you, you're, you're paying for the drink. So <laughs> wish I could have these drinks. They all look so good. Ruby, like, um, I continuously, well, like, I guess I have, it hasn't been a, it's been a little bit since I've posted cocktails in bar chat. So I should, I should drop, I should like drop more of the things that I do in bar chat. So I, I'm going to have something super simple, like what you just did. Absolutely. You know what to do. Whatever you're making, post in my, uh, post in my bar chat. So, <laughs> but, um, you know. Every sing I'm I'm here every Friday usually, you know, unless it's, unless it's like something really dire. I'm here every single Friday, you know, around the sim around the similar time, uh, making some cocktails and just chilling, chatting. I think I was like, oh no! Yeah, <laughs> uh, thank you for the donation. Wait, is it? Wait, who did? <laughs> What? <laughs> Thank you. Wait, who is who just donated? Like, who is that? <laughs> um, thank you for the donation. Oh my god! Wait, I should have. Maybe I should have like Streamlabs up. I, I haven't like, I haven't updated any of my um stream donation things in a long time. I was like. <laughs> I was like, oh, you know what would be really funny? What if I put in that funny trumpet fanfare thing? And it's like, if somebody donates this much, but apparently Streamlabs like glitched out and now every single donation I think is, th <laughs> every single donation is like, I think uh, just just trumpet Christmas. I, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, is that Jesse? I don't know why it looked like that. Was that Jesse? It was you. Thank you, Jesse, for the donation. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well, buddy. You know, I think we're all been we've all been a little busy, right? I've definitely been busy. You know, I've been busy with a lot of mixing work, so. Oh. If the donation if the You bet the donations are gonna go to my Grand Blue Fund. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. No 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 no, I'm just kidding. Like, Honestly, I have to like, I, I want to say um, for all the people that have been subscribed and at least before and have been, have donated in the past and also all of the people that have accepted my commissions, my mixed commissions, all of you are essentially just supporting like all of this and all the things in my studio all the music content that I create, I was able to successfully like break even on my brand new audio interface which is like it's an expensive audio interface but with all with everybody's support and the work that I'm doing and everything and you guys I guess and the people that actually enjoy my work <laughs> um I was able to break even on uh my audio equipment so thank you all and I want to like I feel I feel like, like I'm gonna I'm gonna be I mean I don't want to get like too too real but let's just say like you know things haven't been like progressing as excitingly in the past two years right um, one there's been a lot of things that's happened in my life 
you know, like my first six months of since I debuted, the first six months of me VTubing was super exciting. It was just like brand new cocktails. No one, you know, collaborations. We were doing like two or three streams a week and stuff. And we were doing like drink with me. I was teaching about how to make whiskey or like how, what whiskey was or teaching about spirits and all that stuff. And we were around that time. You know, I was collaborating with like Zona, Evalia, and all these other, this really cool circle of, of like VTubers that I really just did not take, um, did not like hop on in a way, right? But I've kind of, in the time that I've grown now, I've um, found a, a lot more comfort in what I'm doing right now. And that is just like streaming when I'm able to and just, I love doing these Friday streams a lot. I love doing, like, I don't know any other, this the, this this whole entire setup right here is because I'm like, I'm so excited to just show you guys, like, what I'm, what I have set up. Like, this is, this is, I, this is, I, I, I didn't, I wouldn't have thought that I could set this up two years ago, you know? So, but I wanna let, I wanna let you guys know that I really do and you guys can point you guys can literally like point at me and just harass me all the time but I am I have a lot of things planned for this upcoming fall okay I am I promise I promise okay I promise on my heart okay that I have new stuff a new face a new thing and new th everything for upcoming fall, okay? I promise. And I wanna I wanna get back on track with the bar. I wanna bring I wanna bring everything back to how it was when it first started. I I have a lot of work to do and things are in motion, okay? Things are in motion. <laughs> I can't wait to see it though. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I will do my best. Like it was, I still love this model. I really do. I really like it. I think, you know, like for what it's worth, like it's not too bad. Like it moves, it moves, it does, it, 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 it flows all right, but it's not like super up with the times, I guess. But I also, uh, I don't know, like, okay, VTuber enthusiasts here who have like seen a bunch of new models debut and stuff, is it's just like, I don't know, there's like something about it feeling so... S sterile, kind of? It feels like everyone's following like a meta, almost, right? Does it, does anyone like feel that way, in a way? Right, like the, from designs to Moe characters, everything is jiggly, yes! Everything is jiggly, right? Oh, I'm like, oh, well, what do I need to do? Do I do I need to get like a jiggly tie or something? Do I need like a jiggly like jiggly flaps here or something? Do I need like jiggly chest or something? Jiggly puff. Hey yo, hungry box. <laughs> um yeah, honestly the appeal of models has kind of been watered down. True! Exactly. Models are supposed to be a visual bonus to the streamer's personality. <laughs> Give us a minute. That is, that is so true, you know? And honestly, like, because I did draw my own model, right, it, and it, it feels right for me to try and, um, do my own model 2.0, but I do have some people I'd love to try and go to for a potential model 2.0, right? But I don't know, I'm, I'm also like super picky, right? I don't know, but I've, I've received so much, so much, so many like amazing scabs. Like, do you know, do you guys know Kesu, Kesu, Kesu Senpai? Or the, 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 um, the, the, he was like the first scab artist I ever scabbed. And he also is like my profile picture for like, uh, for like, I don't know, like, I love his style so much, right? I also really, really love like Lumi. Lumi, Lumi um, did all of my uh, my character designs. Like 
I purchased them commercially, like from from Lumi, and but I really like their style too, right? So it it's like, I think Lumi had some experiences in the past where it was a little tough. Um, I think she got a little slighted before making a model, so I'm not sure if I can. I, I can probably ask, but I can. I would really. Maybe if I can find someone to translate for me, I thought about Kesu Senpai, you know? Think about Iron Mouse's first model every day. Yeah, yeah. I love her new model, but damn, that nostalgia. True, it's like, I don't know, there's something about... Uh, it's like, I mean, maybe it's a different... It's a different game sometimes when you're playing with, uh... Uh, you know, like, oh, male versus female model, right? Like, it's... It doesn't have to be gendered. It, has, it doesn't have to be human either, right? I don't know. I like, I do like her new model. It's nice. But, uh, I mean, I, 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 I like, uh... I think I've been following Nanners the most, so. I mean, imagine being human. I know, right? Imagine being human. Ha 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 ha. Alright, where are we at right now? Oh my god, I am... What time is it? 9.37? Hiya! Man, this has been so much fun. Ah. Uh, I love talking to y'all. I would... You know... I want to play more video games on stream too, right? But uh, I'm just like, I don't know, man. Like, it's just hard. I don't know. Maybe, I, but then again, maybe I just haven't put enough effort into it. So I do have one goal for me. Let's go full scaly. I mean, uh, <laughs> We <laughs> could, I mean, listen, I like, like, wait, I could, I could jump down the horny route if I wanted to, but I would love to collaborate with Rin. Oh my God. Oh, Rin is so adorable. I, I respect Rin so much. Like, yeah, I want to, I just want to. I should connect with them. I should be proactive. And I sh I've been saying that I was going to do a drinking stream with Rin. Where'd my, lem where'd my lemon garnish go? Oh. I really want to do a collaboration with Rin. You know, and like she speaks English well enough. But I don't, I don't know, I don't know her super super well but i i would love maybe maybe what i'll do is i'll try to do a music collaboration with rin first that'd be super fun what kind of song like jesse what kind of song do you think we could do it pretty well it'd be really cute oh it'd be so cute if we did like ton ton mai or something dan dan hayaku naru dan 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 that'd be kind of cool right Zal horny dragon model where he has a toned scaly. Hiya! I mean, listen, the, the possibilities are endless, right? I could, but that's gonna attract a very certain crowd, a very certain type of people to the bar streams, right? I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> It could be anything. Uh, you're right. I could be anything. I could be not a dragon. I could be human if I wanted to. Right? The other side. Ooh, the other side. Ooh. Well, okay, okay. So, the other side. Oh, wait, that actually, that thematically would work pretty darn well. Uh, I'm not sure, but like, cause I, I, I promised doing the other side with Sparrow, actually. Become a dragon made of fetial spines. 
Uh huh. <laughs> You're. I see. Listen, Voif. I'm telling you, I'm unfazed by Grand Blue stuff now. Grand Blue is now me. Grand Blue is in me. Okay, I am Grand Blue now. Okay, so. <laughs> and neck. I wouldn't mind doing like a duet. I would like to do a duet with Rin, but I feel like I need to do a duet with Zona first. Oh, I feel so bad. Can I speak openly? I feel like I haven't been a very good friend and just trying to reconnect with like Zona and Valia. I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong. Did I do something wrong? Should I try and keep up with them? I don't know. I'm speaking freely and drunkly now, so. Cause like I think about it a lot now. I'm like, oh, I really miss. I really miss like what we like what happened almost a year ago. You know, when we did all did a collaboration with Avalia and stuff. I don't know. Like, did I do something wrong? Maybe. Yeah, try to reach out. Just reach out. If you got time to worry, you got time to do it. You're right. I know. I just, I get inside my own head way too much, you know, but like I am, I, I, I can feel it in me that I'm in a healthier spot than I, I was like six months ago. Like seriously, I've been, I've been like so much more mentally healthy. I, I'm probably in the, my most like mentally healthy state since like, I don't know when I graduated like university, I don't know. So people got busy. I know like. I wonder, that's the other thing, like, like rationally, I'm like, maybe they just think that I'm, like, super busy, too, and then they, they're also feeling the same thing, too, right? It's just like, uh, I miss, I miss that group of friends, you know, so I have a bad habit of disappearing for months for some folks, but when they reach out, it's like, no pet, yeah, no, I totally feel that, like, wife, like, I mean, that's that that's for me, right? If somebody were to reach out to me at any single time, it's literally like I like like you know like an index card or like a, like a a library things. I pick up so quick on. But I there are actually a lot of people that um there are people that don't really do that in a way, and I don't know if it's like a I mean I don't know if it's an ADHD kind of thing, but you know, not everyone is the, that kind of that kind of mentality, right? So, I mean, I, remember Zona was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know when Zona dropped by to say hi. I remember. I remember. I remember. And I drop by Zona streams every now and then too, right? I don't know. I just like. I just miss. I hope. I always wish them the best. I. I. I know Avalia is doing a mate, doing great right now with streaming. I know that like Zona, I hope Zona's doing great. I, I saw, I see like Hoku doing a lot of really cool stuff too, right? It's probably ADHD. Okay. <laughs> it's probably an ADHD. All right, well, well, if you get me then, you get me. Reach out, reach out, I know. Oh, I need to reach out to Miori too. We're, we gotta do like one drinking collaboration before, before like, before she goes, okay? We have to do, ah! See the thing is like, I'm gonna say all these things cause I'm like drunk. Everything, everything like pours out, you know, when I'm like loose lipped essentially. Like all the things that I wanna do, I speak so freely when I'm, when I'm like loose lipped right now. You know, I'm like, I'm a little buzzed. A little more than buzzed, a little drunk maybe, just just a tiny bit, you know. Okay, just just, just a little bit. It's not like I haven't any food or anything, but um, it's like there's just so many things. Oh my god, I'm just so bad. I don't like reaching out to people. This is like my super introverted side, being like, no, I don't want to do it. When I'm sober, and I'm like sober 90% of the week. Okay, and I'm only like I only get these moments right now to like just like release. Okay. It's just to reach out to him, but like, oh my god, boy. <laughs> it's just like, uh, I wanna, there's just so many things I could be doing right now, but like, just, just do it, right? Just do it, but fuck. It's hard. It's, it's hard. The reason why, you wanna know why I got like, 
why I like learned how to do art, why I learned to mix myself, why I learned how to sing, why I learned how to animate, why I like made my entire model myself, and like why I rigged everything myself, why I tried to do everything myself, is because I'm really, really anxious to ask someone else for help, okay? And like one, yes, like I reasonably convinced myself that to do it myself because it's cheaper. It is cheaper, right? It's just my own time. I'm wasting my own time. Therefore, I don't have to waste someone else's time. Therefore, it doesn't cost them money. It doesn't cost me money. Well, it does cost me money. Time is money, right? So now I realize as I grow older, time is money. I don't have a lot of time sometimes. God damn it. I'm ranting. I'm ranting, sorry. I mean, I'm ranting. <laughs> it's just like, I learned how to do a lot of things myself because I just did not want to ask for help, you know? So. <laughs> it's alright, no, alright. It's been a while. It has been a while since I've had a stream. It's, it's been a while since I've had, like, an audience to rant to. How about that? <laughs> so. Like, I really do care about... I don't know, like... I don't know if... Like, yeah, I, I want to grow bigger, but I don't... I hope people... I don't know, like, do people see how much I actually really do care about what I want to do? I don't know. I'm just like, sometimes it doesn't show that I care a lot, right? But like, deep down, like, I just, I really care about, you know, entertain <laughs> entertaining you guys. I really, entertaining people, entertaining, you know, pleasing people, making sure everyone's okay and stuff. Yeah, you care shows a lot, I'd say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and like, what? okay, like, I know Woif, Woif, you've been here for a long time, so yeah, I, I trust, I believe that. I can't believe, sometimes it baffles me that like people have stayed this long, in a way, so. Follow age, oh my gosh. Well, like, I remember, I remember faces, I remember, I remember names, you know, so. Yeah, it's, I don't even remember when the last time I ha actually, I guess I haven't had a solo stream in like a couple of weeks, right? Because I, I, I usually will collaborate with like Kagura and I love talking shop with Kagura. I'm like such a different, I think like, I, I, I know that like a lot of alcoholics have said this too, that like, I'm almost, I'm still myself in collaborations or with other people, but like, I am... I do feel like I have such a different energy whenever I'm with someone else, right? As opposed to, as opposed to like by myself right now, right? Yeah. You're entertaining us there. <laughs> These Friday streams to us is like a virtual get together. That's what I want, you know? Yeah, there's definitely a vibe when folks co collab. I do love that vibe. I want people to see, I want people to see like how, <laughs> how like crazy I can get. I'm, I'm a good, I, I feel like I'm a good bouncer you know like i i i relate a lot to like ina you know like uh nino my ina this from hollow live en hollow myth i relate a lot to um ina's kind of like personality a little bit or streaming personality where it's just like super down to earth and really to herself in her solo streams but like Sometimes, like, oftentimes, completely unhinged in, like, collabs, right? <laughs> so, uh, it's fun. Like, I, I can't believe there'd be people, like, I shouldn't say that. Like, I, I appreciate, I appreciate everyone. Oh, I'm being, like, sappy again. I gotta be an entertainer. But, you know what? That's also because I'm not a streamer, but I am kind of a streamer in a way. I don't want to play into the streaming meta, but I, if I want to grow, I have to play into the streaming meta. But I don't want to play into the streaming meta because honestly, I'm just a V singer that I'm just like a V singer that just really just streams every Friday. So, yeah, being sappy is entertaining. Yeah, it's like it's entertaining for the people that are. Uh, I find being sappy entertaining to the people that are already engaged with my content, right? If I were to be like, uh, like, like. I've noticed, okay, let's let's put on like our marketing hat a little bit, right? If I really want to expand this like circle, 
and you know like get more people like Kazadi and stuff like that. I've been only relying kind of on like Twitter, right? In a way, and hoping that they click on my link here and there. So, you know, I think Kazadi is like one of the most recent additions to the to those alcoholics, right? And actively like doing stuff. So, thank you. Yeah, you're awesome. I love talking to another fellow bar like a uh, cocktail enthus enthusiast, right? But like there needs to be ways to try to pull in more people, right? To potentially um become alcoholics, right? So <laughs> Streaming meta is like the GBF meta, not worth constantly chasing. I mean, like I did chase it. I I mean, I think I I like I passively chase the meta. That's like essentially what I do, right? I passively chase it. You know. Um for one thing, I'm doing like a half a half uh hand stream and I'm doing a half uh VTuber stream, right? I am a VTuber? Sure. I am a V singer? Sure. I am a Utaite? Sure. I am streaming? Sure. I'm a streamer? Sure. I'm a singer? Sure. I'm a mixer? Sure. Like yeah, like I guess it describes all of me. Hiya. Hiya. Streamer, do something entertaining. Do something funny. Streamer, do something funny. <laughs> do something funny. Do a flip. Do a flip. Ah. Have I sing Bakamitai? Because <laughs> that's kind of like the mood I'm in right now. <laughs> I'm just like Bakamitai right now. Uh. I do. Let's fucking go. Fuck me, Tai. Fuck me, Tai. I'm gonna turn on my freaking reverb for that. I'm. I don't think I'm gonna get like copyrighted for that, right? I can't. I just do one song. We're just gonna do one song because you know what? It just fits the mood right now. Reverb. Okay. Huh. I'm gonna turn off my noise filter actually. I'm gonna do this. Oh, ho, ho, you thought you, you probably didn't think I have this microphone on. Whoa, okay, I haven't. Okay, how's this? Oh, look, it's an SM. It, we're doing it old school style, baby. <laughs> is my reverb on? It is on. Let's go. <laughs> Do I need lyrics? I think so. I sing for you. Baka mitai kodomo na no ne yume o. Oh, I can't think. Ah, <laughs> uso uh, ga. I love you more. Sayonara wa Ieta no Dame da ne Dame yo Name na no yo Anta ga Sugi de Sugi sugi te Dore da ke So yo yo sa ke te mo Yugama nai <laughs> Funny karaoke. Did I hit the right button? Yeah. Oh, it's the full, it's the short version. That's good. That's actually perfect. That's perfect. Perfect. I want to delete this one. 
Beep, beep. Now I have to turn off the reverb. That was a whim. That indeed was a whim. That's right. I should just have a microphone ready and a ready at all times to just sing, right? That's what I should do. Bakamitai. That works. Alright. <laughs> I figured it out. Okay, oh, yeah, what? I think I know why people aren't coming into your streams. Stream from the Zal Cave? Oh yeah, just do all your stream with massive reverb. I mean, like, what's the like? Okay, huh? Why would I want? Okay, this is my reverb. This is now my reverb on. Does this sound? What does this sound? Is this like? This is not appealing. Why would I want to like? Why would do you guys want to hear it this way? It doesn't make sense, really. I'm gonna go back to the VOD and be like, what the hell are you thinking? Okay. Um, It's almost like two hours, which is perfect because I'm like really hungry right now. Well, let's go, let's go, we're gonna go over to the bar and we'll just talk about what we're gonna do. Oh shit, holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. The true filter my karaoke stuff. Oh my God, corned beef. I want corned beef. I wanna have some corned beef. That'd be so good. Oh, I'm still in the cave, right? I'm turning this off. It doesn't make sense. Why would I stream? Why would I talk about in the in reverb? Why would I do that? You place your Twitch stream into the category food. I. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, I do. I mean, um, I do place my stream into, should I just like, should I just change it to, wait, should I just change it to uh, just chatting again then? I mean, I wasn't just chatting for a while, so. I thought it would be fine to just put it in, into food and stuff. The Zal cave. <laughs> I mean, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, okay, you know what, I'll change it to just chatting later. Um, I think later on we'll do uh, a karaoke stream, we'll see. Um, just, just, just be on your toes, okay? Just be on your toes. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Wouldn't that technically be a good thing if he's one of the few? Yeah, like I thought, I thought that would, I thought that was the way to do it. It's just like, just be a unique, be in the unique category, question mark. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't just chatting for a long time, but I guess I did see a good amount more people there, right? In just chatting. But there's like so many people in just chatting, right? There's like so many people streaming in just chatting. Oh yeah, but he's all the way at the bottom. See, this is where you guys come in. You guys gotta like lurk or something. You guys gotta lurk in my uh, in my cooking in my like in my Twitch streams, right? Or something like that. You know, I've thought about trying to pursue Twitch a little bit more, maybe. Like for for video games and karaoke, maybe? Question mark. We'll see. It is ten o'clock. I'm hunky. Oh, okay. Let's uh, we're gonna wrap it up and then we'll get it. We're definitely gonna do a karaoke or a jazz jam in like an hour or hour and a half ish. I need to eat food. So I will uh, relieve you guys. I mean, we got a lot of people. We got a lot of people currently watching on uh, on YouTube. So 
Only one other VTuber in food and drink. Yeah, like... You never heard my moon dance? All right, we'll do... Wait, I thought I did moon dance with for, for you. I thought I did moon dance. I'll do, I'll do it again, okay? I'll be back in an hour, okay? At least an hour. I need to get some food. I appreciate y'all. Um, sit tight, chill out, look for the announcement for the after party stream. We're gonna do either a karaoke jam or a jazz jam, okay? Trumpet and karaoke. We'll see. All right. I want to thank I want to thank everyone. I want to thank uh, the beer pals for dropping by. I want to thank uh, everyone else for dropping by again. Thank you, boy, for the dude. Um, thank you, Miori, for dropping by. I love I love these Mogu these Mogu shot glasses so much. They're amazing. I think they're so cute. Oh my god, I love them so much. I'm so happy. Miori dropped by, so I'm happy. My Oshi dropped by. All right, my name is Al, and I approve of this message. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Okay. I'm gonna go eat some food. I'm hungry. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm hungry.